So it's going to be kind of mystery eggs, and we'll see once they start hatching out what's what. I'm pretty sure, though, I know who this egg belongs to. Look at that beautiful color. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is your first time here. I'm Cassie and we're a Walker Farm fan. We have been talking back and forth about getting an incubator and trying to hatch some of our quail eggs and then hatching out some chicken eggs. So if you've seen pre previous videos, you know that we are working on our mobile chicken coop and it is unlike any other and we're really excited about getting it finished up. With that, we're gonna have room for more chickens. So what's what would be more awesome than to hatch out some eggs. So we are really excited that Backyard Farm has uh, decided to partner with us and let us try out the original Hatchmate automatic egg incubator. So I couldn't wait, I already opened it. <laughs> it did come in this box, it was very well packaged, um, but this is what we're looking at. So not super big, we didn't want a big one, we wanted to start out small, we wanted to start with something that we could manage and uh, have fun with. If this goes well, maybe we'll look into getting something bigger in the future, but this is gonna be the perfect size for what we're wanting to do here on our farm. We're planning on setting this up probably in our mud room. Uh, we were hoping to do it out in the shop, but since the weather's getting cold, uh, I'm not real sure that's a good idea. This is our first time ever doing this. This thing is really cool. Let's take a look inside. So you'll see on the top is uh, where the plug-in is. And um, it says the original hatch mate automatic egg incubator by Backyard Farm. So um, down in the description is a link to our Amazon store. And we have this linked in there for you. Uh, just go through our Amazon store and go under the chicken and the poultry supplies and you will find this incubator in there. Right here on the top is where um, it actually rotates the eggs. You'll put the egg turner um, down in this and that's what um, rotates the eggs. They also sent us this really cool hydrometer. So they said they usually don't include this, but they wanted to include it with us um, so that we can uh, try that out as well. So it um, has some instructions on where to place it, things like that, but this helps make sure that everything inside is just like you want it. So we also got the power cord. We got an instruction booklet, which I will be referencing a lot. We have, looks like an extra bulb. Um, there's a little box, let's see what's inside of this. Oh, very cool. But it is a little flashlight so you can candle the eggs and see uh, what you got going on in there. So that's really cool that they include that. Let's put that back till we're ready. I don't lose anything. This is the egg turner, and one thing that I really loved about this incubator is because um, it comes with these little things that you can put in here. I'll show all this up close and personal later, um, but you can adjust it to whatever size eggs you're using. So if you're hatching quail, you'll make them smaller. If you're hatching chickens, you'll make it a little bit bigger. If you're hatching duck eggs, ostrich eggs, uh, whatever it is that you're hatching, you just adjust to how you need it. So these aren't exactly straight. Uh, but you can see you just adjust them uh, to where it best suits you. So that is what I loved about it because you don't have to go out and buy an egg turner for uh, all the different kinds of eggs that you're going to be hatching. You just need this and adjust it. So as you can see, it doesn't hold a ton. Um, it says it holds like 9 to 12 chicken eggs. Um, so obviously we can fit more quill eggs in than that. Um, but that's about all we need around here. So this comes out. And this is the bottom of it. So uh, that's where water and different things will go. Like I said, um, this little piece will go, you have to make sure that it's down in your turner. That way it moves it for you. We're really excited to try this out. I'm gonna go set it up um, in the mud room, find a good spot for it, start playing around with it um, and get comfortable with it. Uh, we're working on getting some chicken eggs. We do have a rooster, but he's not quite old enough yet. And so um, I've talked to Sawyer Ridge Farm about getting some eggs from them. And they said, no problem. We also have our quail eggs. We can put them in there at any time. We are going to test this thing out and see what we can do. So in the instructions, it says to test the unit for um, at least two hours to 
uh, verify the functions. So I'm going to go ahead and it says to put in 3.5 ounces of water and it says uh, to get familiar with where that hits down here um, so that you know where the water should stay. Um, like I said, they did send me this hydrometer. It says it is not necessary um, that you use it because it has the uh, digital readout up here, uh, but they did send it because um, it's not bad to have in there just to make sure uh, to kind of check both of them, make sure both are functioning correctly. So um, I'm going to move you down here, let you watch me get it set up, and we'll check back in two hours. All right, I'm back. Gary's over here hanging up his work clothes. You gotta pull your weight around here, son. Husband. <laughs> do what I do. No shame. I'm checking on our little incubator here. It said give it two hours. It's been a little more than that. It uh, seems to be doing great. So we look down here with the hydrometer and it said it would um, vary a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it says 70% and 35.7. So up here we're at 37.9. And that is Celsius. So it seems to be doing great. I'm going to turn it off um, for the night. And then we'll wait on our chicken eggs. Are you so excited, Gary? Yeah. I think the kids will be excited too. Yeah. I haven't really showed them a whole lot about this. Because I was waiting uh, till we got our eggs and everything. Ransom was here when I first opened the box and he thought baby chicks were going to jump out. So it was pretty funny. I wish I would have had the camera. Check back with us when we got the eggs and we're ready to rock and roll. All right. So I just ran over to our good friends over at Sawyer Ridge Farm. They're just uh, not too far down the road from us and got some fertile eggs from them. I uh, texted Alex and said, hey, you got any fertile eggs you'd want to sell me? And she said, sure. So I headed over there, uh, got some eggs. They're ready to go in the incubator. We're pretty excited. So it's going to be kind of mystery eggs, and we'll see once they start hatching out what's what. I'm pretty sure, though, I know who this egg belongs to. Look at that beautiful color. So if you know um, who lays these dark, beautiful eggs, comment down below and let me know. Come along with me as I get them in here. This is, our, this is my first time um, doing this, so learn with me. Experiment, experiment with me. Let's do this. you guys enjoyed this video and if you're like me and you've never incubated eggs before hopefully you'll find it helpful on how to set up and do your uh, run your incubator um, after the videos I watch and after reading cover to cover on that instruction manual I feel like uh, we got a pretty good setup I know I'll put a, a few more in the middle there um, but those eggs were just so big so uh, the reason I put a few more was so I could uh, fit more eggs in but they still turn so I think they'll be all right We'll be doing uh, more videos on this incubator as the 21 days approach and then um, as we hatch out some quail eggs and other things as well. So hope you found this helpful. Continue to follow along on this journey of ours. Make sure you hit that bell for notifications. Don't forget to like and give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We truly appreciate it and we'll see you on the next one. God bless.